A network of pregnancy resource centers will defend pro-life North Dakota laws in court. Heartbeat International, which operates two affiliated pregnancy centers in North Dakota, filed a motion to intervene in defense of two North Dakota pro-life laws last month. In June, the American Medical Association partnered with the Center for Reproductive Rights and the Red River Women's Clinic, the only abortion clinic in North Dakota, to challenge two North Dakota laws, one that requires abortionists to inform women that the procedure terminates, quote, the life of a whole, separate, unique, living human being, and another requiring they be informed that the chemical abortion process may be reversed if treated quickly. The AMA and its partners claim the laws are unconstitutional. Heartbeat International said in a statement that its work would be impacted by the lawsuit's outcome. And joining us now from Phoenix, Arizona, is Kristen Wagoner, who serves as Senior Vice President of U.S. Legal Division and Communications with Alliance Defending Freedom, the firm representing Heartbeat International in this case. Kristen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Can you explain the process of intervening in a lawsuit? What does that mean? Well, sure. A lawsuit is filed by a plaintiff and a defendant, and an intervener is a party that asks the court to become a part of that lawsuit. We represent Heartbeat International, which is the world's largest network of pregnancy resource centers, and we are now a party to this lawsuit in North Dakota. Can you tell us what exactly these two pro-life laws in North Dakota require? Well, essentially, the core issue is whether abortionists have to fully inform their patients about the child that is in the mother's womb, as well as abortion pill reversal which is an option that women have if they face regret after taking a, the first pill of two doses in a chemical abortion, and they want to reverse the effects of that abortion in that pill. And why are these North Dakota laws in the interest of the health and safety of women? Well, because as with all patients, informed choice um, is something that we should all want, regardless of which side of this debate we're on. Patients deserve to know the risks and all of the information related to a medical procedure. And that's certainly true for women who are th thinking about abortion. You don't give up that right just because you're thinking about abortion. And how could Heartbeat International's work be impacted by this lawsuit? Well, first of all, Heartbeat, uh, they believe that the best choice is an informed choice and that women shouldn't give up their right to be fully informed before they make this kind of uh, a decision. They have about 800 healthcare providers around the nation that have actually been able to help over 900 women save their children after initially making a decision to have a chemical abortion. So they, they believe that women having all of the necessary information is in the woman's best interest, but it's also in the interest of the child who, when the woman has regret, may reverse her decision and save the life of that child. What do you make of the American Medical Association partnering with pro-abortion groups for this lawsuit? I think it's so unfortunate. The American Medical Association is becoming more and more politicized. And what we know is that these laws, the challenge to the law, they couldn't even find a woman to file the lawsuit. This is about padding the bottom line for Planned Parenthood. And we, again, as people that are either pro-life or pro-abortion, should want women to have informed consent and make informed choices. No, it's actually just 25% of doctors in the United States that are members of the American Medical Association, so they certainly do not speak for all of us. You're absolutely right. In fact, the majority of doctors in North Dakota are not members of the American Medical Association, and the AMA couldn't even find a woman to file suit in this particular case. That's because the best choice is an informed choice, and it's in women's interest to have all the information before they make this procedure, this choice. Kristen Wagoner, Senior Vice President of U.S. Legal Division and Communications, Alliance Defending Freedom. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you.